right, let's take a look at today's drop. Silver maple, took a little weight off this side here and took all the branches on that side there so to clear the plum. But we got the house here and that big branch heading out towards the house, all that side weight and the whole tree is leaning that way to begin with. See that whole tree is just leaning to the right there, right towards the house. A lot of tree. Now, we have a couple of things working in our favor here. Well, we have, first of all, I, I had to actually climb. First time, time I've been up in a tree in quite a while. To climb this tree, I took all this weight off the backside, but I also cleared, made room to clear the plum. And then that lead over there is gonna come up short on the pine here, leaving this spot where I'm standing right here, an open, nice open area for that top there. So what do we got here? We got a doubled line through the top of that tree. Man, that is a throw line. Set with a throw line. That is high. Probably could rip the top of that tree right out if we had to with that. So we got to be careful not to pull too early, too fast. And then the cut's going to be important too. I want to give as much potential to fight the side lean as possible. And then we put a retention line over here to uh, like one wrap around that little magnolia. Those guys are going to have to let it go because the line's low and it, it's going to hit the plum otherwise here. It could damage the plum. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Now let's take a look at the cut. Again, throwing everything to your favor in a job like this, right? So the first thing to notice is that the, the fibers at the apex of that notch are higher than a quarter. That's over an inch tall there. It was over an inch all the way across. And then I cut a scissor wheel out, which was this. Little cut here, the spotted lantern flies, watch them get out of there, which is that little cut there to make the fibers even taller on this side. So that's like three, four inches tall over there. And I also used an adjusted gun. So basically this trunk can brush these this plum tree, but it can't hit the plum tree. So I actually notched it, the, set the gun, the, the, the aim of that notch up slightly to the right there, just behind that skid loader. So I'm assuming it's not gonna make it all the way there on the scissor wheel. I mean, I hope it doesn't. If it does, I could break a few branches out of this plum tree. Again, there's my open spot for the top. This this left side over here was the right side when I was looking on the other place. It's gonna end up in front of the pine. I'm worried about that corner of the house there. If, if I lose it, you know, I'm gonna hit that corner of the house there. So then I started to plunge on the back cut and I'm gonna leave a tapered hinge there I'm gonna bring this back cut pretty close to, to touching here. Leave a little taper. I'll work my way around. Oh! 